Hi friends, I'm very happy to see you here. I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, social theories and research on this channel. The theory of technological determinism contends that technology shapes how individuals act, behave and think and also how society operates collectively. Let us see how technology shapes society, the theory of technological determinism in this video. Many others do not agree with the reductionist view of technological determinism. They say that technology is socially constructed. Determinists argue that the impact of internet technology and artificial intelligence on everyday life is pretty obvious. Technological determinism is the idea that technology acts as the main driving force behind societal changes and transformations. This perspective contends that the emergence of new technologies leads to inevitable and largely predictable effects on social structures, cultural values, economic systems and political institutions. Technological determinism is a theoretical framework that posits technology as the primary driver of social, economic, political and cultural change. It views technology as an independent, self-driven force that molds human societies, often with little regard for human agency or social context. The internet has been a significant driver of social change, influencing how people communicate, access information and interact. Some technological determinists argue that the rise of the internet has led to the emergence of the global village and the transformation of political activism. Social media's impact on political discourse is evidence of internet's deterministic influence on society. Technological determinism can also be applied to the ongoing debate surrounding artificial intelligence and automation. Some determinists argue that the advancements in artificial intelligence and automation will lead to widespread job displacement, shifting the nature of work and potentially increasing income inequality. Smartphones have had a significant impact on people's everyday lives as we know. Hard technological determinism is the most rigid form of the concept, arguing that technology is the principal force driving social, economic, political and cultural change. In this view, the developments and adoption of new technologies follow a predetermined trajectory and societies adapt to these advancements with little to no control over the consequences. Soft technological determinism acknowledges that technology plays a significant role in shaping society but also recognizes the influence of social, economic, political and cultural factors. This perspective sees technology as one of the many drivers of change interacting with other factors. Soft determinists argue that human agency, social values and institutions can influence the development of technology. Social constructivism challenges the deterministic perspective by asserting that technology is shaped by social processes, values and interests. According to this view, technology is not an independent force but is socially constructed, reflecting the priorities, power structures and cultural values of the societies that develop it. Human agency, social context and cultural factors play a central role. Lewis Mumford argued that technology shaped human societies and their values. In his works such as Techniques and Civilization, he explored the evolution of technology and its impact on society throughout history. Jacques Ellul in his book The Technological Society claimed that technology had become an autonomous force that dictated the direction of society. 
Marshall McLuhan's ideas are often associated with technological determinism as he believed that new communication technologies inevitably shaped human consciousness and culture. McLuhan's focus was primarily on the effects of media and communication technologies rather than the broader range of technologies. Marshall McLuhan's famous phrase, the medium is the message, first appeared in his book Understanding Media, The Extensions of Man in 1964. He viewed media as extensions of human senses, amplifying and altering our perceptions of the world. For example, the telephone extends our hearing while the television extends our sight and hearing. McLuhan saw media as environments that influence human behavior and cognition. Each medium creates its own climate or atmosphere with specific characteristics that shape the ways people interact, think and communicate within that environment. His ideas led to the development of media ecology that studies the complex relationships between media, technology and culture. In Printing Press as an Agent of Change in 1979, Elizabeth Eisenstein argues that the invention of the printing press led to significant changes in European society, including the Protestant Reformation, the rise of modern science and the spread of standardized languages. She highlights the role of the printing press in shaping social, religious and intellectual transformations. In his book Amusing Ourselves to Death Public Discourse in the Age of Show Business in 1985, Neil Postman argues that the shift from print to television as the dominant medium of communication had a profound impact on public discourse, political debate and social values. Postman's work is an example of technological determinism in the context of media studies. Manuel Castell's book The Rise of Network Society in 1996 explores the emergence of the information age and its implications for society, economics and culture. Castells posits that the rise of digital communication technologies such as the internet has led to fundamental changes in how societies are organized and how individuals interact. In his book The Sources of Economic Growth in 1997, economist Richard R. Nelson explores the relationship between technological innovation and economic growth. He argues that technological advancements are the primary drivers of long-term economic growth and that nations that foster innovation and adopt new technologies are more likely to prosper. By focusing on technology's role in driving change, the concept encourages researchers and policymakers to consider the potential consequences of new technologies. Technological determinism can inspire innovation by emphasizing the potential benefits of new technologies in addressing challenges such as increasing productivity, improving living standards and fostering economic growth. Technological determinism contrasts with the instrumental view of technology which posits that technology is a neutral tool that can be used and controlled by humans to achieve various goals. In this perspective, society shapes technology rather than the other way around. Technological determinism offers a simplified model for understanding the complex relationships between technology and society. Critics argue that technological determinism downplays the role of human agency in shaping technology's development, diffusion and impact. They assert that individuals, groups and institutions can and do influence the direction and outcomes of technological innovation whether by promoting specific technologies 
resisting their adoption or adapting them to serve their needs and values. Technological determinism is criticized for not taking into account the social, political, economic and cultural factors that influence the development and consequences of technology. Critics contend that technology does not exist in a vacuum but is deeply embedded in societal structures and contexts which shape its design, use and implications. It reduces complex social phenomena to a single cause, technology. Technological determinism has been criticized for not adequately considering power structures and inequalities that influence the development and consequences of technology. Critics argue that the concept tends to ignore the ways in which technology can reinforce or exacerbate existing power imbalances and social inequalities focusing instead on technology's potential to drive social progress. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.